Forced financing ban clears the Texas Senate with big impact on car dealers. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. To be clear, we aren't necessarily fans of needing tons of laws, but quite clearly in this area, something needed to be done. With what we see as a major development in state law and a likely impact on other states, the Texas Senate has passed a ban on dealers forcing consumers to use dealer-only financing. That's right. Back in April, on a 26-4 to 4 vote, Texas state senators overwhelmingly approved a bill barring auto dealerships from penalizing or denying shoppers seeking to buy vehicles with cash or financing arranged outside the store. You see, friends, complaining to your state-level offices really do have an effect. And we genuinely hope the story of this bill in Texas inspires you to reach out to your own state legislators and ask for a similar bill in your own state. Now, maybe far too much of this has already happened for this bill to get drafted, but now that it's done, we expect other states to follow in line. You can play a part. That's how many things have happened in this country, and that's the outstanding news in this story. To Kevin's point, some of you may not know or have simply forgotten that it was Wyoming in 1890 that first passed a women's right to vote law and then a snowball of state laws took place, even leading to the constitutional amendment, the 19th Amendment, giving all women the right to vote. Yes, exactly. We urge all of our Texas fans to contact their House members via email and urge the passing of SB 1464 so it gets to the governor's desk. Let's get this done, Texas. <laughs> On this 26 to 4 vote, Texas state senators convincingly approved a bill barring auto dealerships from penalizing or denying shoppers seeking to buy vehicles with cash or financing arranged outside the store. This 26 to 4 vote was an 84% upvote on behalf of consumers. Should Senate Bill 1464 pass the House and be signed into law, it would be the first restriction on such forced financing nationwide, and it's about dang time. <laughs> The bill that Kevin referred to would forbid an auto dealership from requiring consumers to use financing from the retailer or its partner lenders, transactions that have been long known for being a big generator of finance and insurance revenue for dealerships. The bill would also prohibit dealerships from charging more, as in higher purchase prices, to consumers who bring cash or outside financing to a deal. That's outstanding. This is a template that every state should be adopting. The bill's language also says, a dealership may not make false or misleading representations. If signed into law, the bill would take effect September 1st. We will be watching it like a hawk. Unfortunately for some of you Texas car buyers who have already been hurt by this common dealer tactic, it would not affect deals executed before then. Reportedly, a random Texas Automobile Dealers Association sample of retailers found 70% of car loans and leases involved dealerships partnered lenders while the remaining 30% involved outside financing or buyers paying cash, according to Association CEO of Legislative Affairs, Rob Brazil. Rob is basically a dealer sympathizer, if you haven't already gathered that. <laughs> he is pictured right here sitting next to the bill's author at the Senate hearing. Kind of an awkward pairing, I'd have to say. His opposition to this bill is reminiscent of NADA opposing the FTC regulations. The only thing these dealer groups can think of to do is deny, deny, deny that there's a problem. Well, contrary to his testimony claiming it's not happening anymore, there's plenty of evidence that there's a big ongoing problem. The Texas Office of Consumer Credit Commissioner has received 121 complaints about forced financing between August 2021 and February 2023, according to State Senator Royce West of Dallas, the bill's primary author. And of course, there are tons more people who have been affected. Most people don't bother to complain because they just assume that nobody will be listening and it won't do any good. I'm thinking at this point that Texas dealers were hoping that nobody would be listening, a hope that proved to be wrong in this case. Senator West told the Senate Business and Commerce Committee on March 30th, Members, this is a statewide problem, and indeed it is. Of course. The bill's supporters include the Texas Bankers Association, the Independent Bankers Association of Texas, and the Credit Union Coalition of Texas, as well as individual credit unions. Texas People Federal Credit Union CEO Stuart Himmelstein told the committee, We understood it during the vehicle shortage, but he said forced financing has continued well beyond that. He added, it's growing and growing every day. Bingo, now there's the truth. As expected, Mr. Brazil, the dealer sympathizer, also testified on the legislation before the Senate Business and Commerce Committee on March 30th. 
At that time, the Texas Automobile Dealers Association took no formal position on the bill since we were trying to work with the author on some other concepts and language, Brazil wrote in the email from April 27th. Interpret that as, we wanted to remove the teeth from the bill. Exactly. He added, that has not come to pass, but we continue to work through the legislative process to address our concerns. Not surprisingly, right on cue, the Texas Automobile Dealers Association does not support the, the version of Senate Bill 1464 that passed the Senate. Brazil confirmed that on April 27th. In a dodgy attempt to slow things down, Brazil told senators in March that a dealership might refuse a customer's funding source because of an issue with that lender. Some lenders are slow to pay the dealer or never end up sending the funds, he said. Such a pile of garbage, Mr. Brazil, and you <laughs> know it. Unlike Himmelstein, Brazil said forced financing is actually on the decline. <laughs> <laughs> he is quoted as saying, as inventory has normalized, we're not seeing these things in the marketplace today. Really, Mr. Brazil, what kind of rock are you living under? <laughs> A hot one. Senator Jose Menendez of San Antonio, Texas, called it frustrating that forced financing even existed, given that lawmakers have been extremely supportive of car dealerships. Oh, so Mr. Menendez, you think because largely politicians have kowtowed to dealers that they'll behave? <laughs> Yes, those huge campaign donations have a major impact on elected leaders' judgment, that's for sure. He is quoted as adding, I'm sure most of your members don't do this, but we always have to legislate for those few bad apples, it seems like. A few? I'm betting the numbers are that at least 54% of dealers in Texas are doing this, as revealed by a recent automotive news survey of dealers. Current status is that SB 1464 passed 264 on April 12th. It now sits before the State House Business and Industry Committee. Time to get on the phone, make phone calls, and also start sending emails, Texas citizens. Yep. Let your elected House members know you support this and give other states the chance and citizens the hope that this can happen everywhere. The Speaker of your House is Dade Phelan, and he can be reached at 512-463-1000. Also from his homepage at the link appearing on the screen, you can find an option to reach your specific House member. I think it has legs, West told Automotive News on April 27th. He said Texas was a business state, but opposition existed to the idea of a business tipping the scales in its favor. Which force financing definitely tips the scales in the favor of the dealership. Right. West said he'd even heard from auto dealerships who told them these kind of practices are unconscionable. It might surprise our viewers to know that we've heard very similar feedback from good dealers out there who really don't like what the shyster dealers are doing to their customers and to the industry. If you're from Texas or just an interested outside party like we are, you can monitor the progress of this bill through a site known as Legiscan at the link appearing on the screen now. At least one other state capital has seen legislation related to forced financing this session. Massachusetts House Bill 297 is less extensive than the Texas measure. It would simply outlaw dealer mandates that customers use in-house financing. That measure was sent to a Massachusetts legislature joint committee in mid-February, but it has seen no activity. But mm. perhaps with Texas leading the way, now it could well happen in Massachusetts too. I'm going to wrap up with a quick reminder for returning viewers or for our new ones just joining us that with regard to the all new hassle free car buying process we're launching this year, we've created a Google form to help you sign up for early notification and responses automatically load into a database for us that makes our job so much easier. Right. There's been such a big response. It's quite flattering to see actually. Just a heads up, there's a question at the end of the document that we'd love to hear your feedback on. So please don't skip it. It reads, with regards to the current car buying process, please tell us what you like, don't like, how you view the current car buying process, or any other things you wish to see brought to life with respect to creating the ultimate car buying process that would make you say, now this is how I want to buy a car every time. We've had some great responses to that Yeah, question. it's fun to read. If you signed up early when we first announced this and we asked you to either text us or email us, you may be getting a message back from us asking you to fill out the short form so we can avoid having to do it manually for you. If you're not sure, go to the link. Thank you. The link to the form is on our YouTube community page and it's also on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. We'll also put it in the comment section here below. Just make sure you find the link and fill it out. You're doing a great job of helping us strategically align our launch with your specific wants and needs. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future announcements. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. 
If you're one of our newest subscribers, we welcome you. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers for coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.